What is up guys, Max Mob here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to do a very, very quick walkthrough on how you can get NVE working with 5M in a near perfect way. Little asterisk there, we'll talk about that more in a little bit. So, real fast, if you don't know what NVE is, it is a brand new remake of the very, very popular graphics mod called NVR for Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, if you don't have it and you're interested, you can check it out over at patreon.com slash raised mods. Raised is the uh, kind of the lead developer on this. It looks fantastic. Uh, you can get the early access beta for $10 a month. You can also just do a single time payment. You know, anyway, we're not going to get uh, too much into that. So uh, if you're like me and probably a good hundred other hundreds of other people, uh, you got excited, you got the beta, slap that thing in game, you're ready to go, hop in 5M, everything looks great until you turn on your emergency lights and you have zero emissives, the textures look bad, and it is not a good time. So, we're gonna fix that today. Um, let's, uh, let's just get started real fast. So the first thing you need to do is go to your downloads folder, obviously. So you just open this up. Uh, I use 7-Zip, and for this, as far as I know, it's the only way that you can get this to work. I'm not 100% sure if you can do it with, with WinRAR. I know some people did have issues with that. Um, I use 7-Zip. It works perfectly for me, um, not just for opening up the, the pack because it is a, a zip. So you need to open that up, uh, but you should already be there if you installed it. Next thing you're going to do is go over to the single player OIV. For those that don't know, this is an automatic open for installer that will install mods to the proper directories uh, for your single player game. does nothing for 5M. But what you want to do, go ahead, right click that, and like I said, I use 7-Zip. So go here, you want to extract files. That's going to turn uh, basically this OIV into a um, into a, a folder right here. So this is what you end up getting when you extract it. Uh, like I said, feel free to try it with WinRAR if you do use that. Uh, no guarantees if it's going to work or not. So open up this. Uh, these two things you don't have to worry about. Uh, but go inside of content and then mod. Here you have a list of all of the components um, and they're not in a directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our 5M application data. So for those that don't know how to get there, um, it's basically the, the root folder of the 5M plugin. So if you know that directory, great. If you don't, go on over to your 5M desktop shortcut and just open the file location. As you can see, it is right there. It's going to open up to this folder here. So first thing you want to do, if you already have NVE installed, go into your mods folder and delete all of the files. You can use the uh, the core files for now. Uh, delete those guys. And then uh, you can use some of the add-ons, but... For pure testing, I would recommend taking everything out and then adding in as you go. So, mods folder is empty, no instance of NVE, and the reason you want to clear that out, uh, just to say real fast, is because it does uh, the mods from NVE, which is how 5M streams them, uh, they overwrite your other graphics. So, you will see no change if you install it and keep those mods in there. So, clear out that mods folder. Next thing, move over to Citizen. Right here, I have a handy dandy little folder that I made. Uh, for myself, I'm not going to share it because that would be uh, that would be sharing the uh, the files on the mod, and that's not good. That's uh, that's literally leaking this stuff. Uh, so just follow along here. Uh, what you want to do is you can see this is a mirror of the application data. We'll just uh, make that bad boy a little bit smaller. We'll fit this in together. Uh, so go inside of common here, inside of data. We'll do that over here. Common data all of these folders should be there already um, but we will work on it um, this is a visual settings you probably won't have that in there um, this is gonna look very close to vanilla I do have a couple things here and there um, but it's not gonna affect anything what you want to do is these files here branch bend underscore wind settings cloud keyframes clouds HBA HBAO settings, lens flares, F, M, and T, the visual settings, and the water tune. You want to bring those over here. I'm not going to copy the visual settings. I already have that. So what you want to do, copy it into your application data folder. Um, 
basically, I didn't explain this earlier, so what you're doing is streaming the elements of the mod locally. So instead of through a mod, it's in uh, the way that 5M does a client side. Same way that if you were to stream a uh, like car variations, vehicles.meta, you're streaming that client side, you're doing this with the graphics mod. So you have these files in here. Next thing you're going to do is go over to effects. You're going to copy the VFX lighting settings already have that in there so go back out here you're gonna go to levels GTA 5 then you have these here so as you can see I have a vehicles meta in there uh, you might not have anything if you don't have any of these folders just make them uh, be sure to name them exactly how they are so you know uh, levels GTA 5 you are going to have a common data uh, so you want to copy these over here. You are going to have to make that weathers folder. And inside of that folder, you want to put all of these emitters. So you have four desert files, four rainstorms, two snow heavy, and four thunder. All of those get dragged into the weather folder. So if we back out here to the common data folder, now what we're going to do is copy in the time cycle. So what goes into time cycle are the four time cycle mods underwater underscore deep and then all of these w underscore mods so we're just going to copy for me i'm going to copy this folder over um, and what you're going to have to do is uh, go to your where is it here go into this folder that you extracted from the oiv and you're going to have to make those directories and then uh, copy over the specific files it's a little tedious at first but trust me it is worth it it's super good. Um, so the last thing I want to say before I get in game, uh, by the way, that is it. That's all the installation you need to do. Uh, I'll hop in game in a second just to show you that it does work. It's perfect. Uh, it works well. The only thing is that it does not stream any of these uh, YTDs. So the downside, there is a slight, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, there's a slight asterisk caveat here. Uh, the new textures are not streamed because there's no way to do that. However, I personally think uh, it still looks fine. Um, so you don't get any of these, the fancier textures, uh, but you do get the full visual mod. You get the look, um, basically the LUT that this visual mod provides. Uh, you get that full functionality. So let's go ahead, hop in game, take a look at things, and uh, kind of prove that what we did worked. Okay, so we are in game, and we'll go ahead run outside. If you uh, you look at this, you can see the graphics have changed, uh, and it's obviously working because you don't have the mods in. And as you can see, there are actual emissives on the vehicles. So as you run up closer, you can see there's actual reflections. Uh, and I personally don't like massive emissives, uh, so I have a pretty toned down visual settings. Uh, the other nice thing about this... Uh, this installation is you're able to use whatever visual settings.dat you like. So uh, if you find one on a, uh, a website like GPM or uh, FR, uh, LCPDFR, and GTA Police Mods, uh, you can uh, put it in and it'll work perfectly. So really, uh, really glad that I found this out. Hopefully you guys will get some use out of this as well and actually have good looking graphics with proper emissives in game as you can see uh, it works well if we change the time uh, real fast uh, just make it night you can see look at that it works it doesn't look awful very very cool very good and uh, yeah those are some lights so hopefully you guys did enjoy this hopefully uh, it was useful uh, if you did find this video useful and helpful uh, feel free to leave a like, it helps show your support, and uh, it does support me, and it helps bring new people to the channel. Uh, also, because this is a tutorial, and I know a lot of people are really interested in NVE, please share this video with any people that you think would need help and would appreciate the support. Uh, I really want to help more people, so share this video if you... Uh, feel like it would help other people greatly appreciate that if you are new to the channel please feel free to subscribe so you never miss out on any more of my content uh, i do stream and play 5m and gta quite regularly so that is uh one thing i do a lot so if you're fan of, if you're a fan of that you know why not 
come check out the channel. Uh, lastly, if you have any feedback on this, I would love to hear support. Uh, drop, drop a comment down below uh, if you loved it or hate it. Let me know why. Uh, and if you have any other uh, input on this method for getting graphics to work, let me know. I would love to hear it. I'm all about starting a conversation. Anyway, though, my name is MaxMob. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys later.